Welcome to the latest exhibition by subculture pioneer Wildcat Will. I'm Sophia Disgrace and I'm at the Proud Gallery in Camden, London to check out his show. Now this amazing exhibition features one or two um, legendary figures from music that you might just have heard of. The Rolling Stones, Elvis Presley, Bobby Gillespie from Primal Scream and many more are all here encapsulated in all their legendary iconic glory. So let's go and check it out. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm good. A little stressed and nervous but you know a few drinks and uh, the evening will you know pick up momentum. Um, it's your exhibition tonight for uh, When We Were Gods. How, how does it feel? I mean, I know, you know you've done this before. It's not, nothing especially new for you, but how does it feel to see it all up? You know, people have come here to see it. Um, how, how does that feel for you? Is it different each time or is it... Yeah, okay. It's, it's okay, it's, uh, it's pretty much the same every time. It's months and months of work and then there's a lockdown and a cut-off point and then a couple of... Absolutely mental days without sleep or food and uh, completely running around stressing out and then then the show happens and it's too late and everyone turns up and, uh, and it's, a, it's a party and a celebration so uh, most of my shows are pretty the same, a lot of friends, a lot of people, quite a cool rock and roll crowd and um, people that I've handpicked over the years, friends, I mean it's also my 50th birthday so it's a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Um, you've featured in your show lots of legendary figures, you know, from music. Um, do you think that in the present day, so in 20 years' time, there's going to be anyone that iconic? Because to me, when I look at, say, you know, the musicians and some of the musicians and people around now or that are just emerging, I find it hard to imagine that they might achieve that sort of status of, you know, people like, say, the Rolling Stones or... Elvis Presley, what do you think about that? I think once in a while a generation throws up somebody really particularly um, incredibly special, for instance Amy Winehouse, but quite often the good die young and they burn out. Um, as far as 20 years time now with bands like the Arctic Monkeys who are uh, you know, a fantastic band, Kasabian, I mean it's hard to say isn't it? What was interesting about what I'm saying is when they were gods, there was a period of time after the Second World War the world seemed to explode with an incredible amount of talent in a very short space of time and that talent seems to have um, sustained itself to the present day. Um, these people have become part of the culture, their music still stands up and gets played all every day on the radio. Um, <laughs> we're seeing, you know, if I'm still around in 20 years time, whether, so who's, who's, um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll make a show of those people if they make it into that godlike. Uh, arena. Um, also, I'd like to say you've, you've had an amazingly creative career um, doing some research on you. I don't think there's anything that you don't seem to have done creatively, which is very impressive. And you've also worked with some really amazing people, um, Death in Vegas, um, you know, members of The Clash. Is there anyone dead or alive? that you would, would love to collaborate with who you haven't? Oh, well, most of the people in this that I've uh, portrayed in this show, in fact, would, I, would, I would die. Um, you know, I've, I, I have one gig that I, I played at a party for Kate Moss, and I, I was on stage with Mick and Paul from The Clash, Bobby Gillespie, Jason Spaceman, Pete Doherty, and uh, I, I, I kind of died and gone to heaven. It was kind of like everybody all at once, you know, who's like a super group of just doing, doing some of my favorite material for a couple of songs. But um, th there's always more people that that you could ever possibly, um, you know, hope to be playing with. I, I've achieved some of that in my life, and I can't quite believe that. <laughs> You've had a very, very eclectic and admirable career to date, definitely. Um, before I move on to something slightly different quickly over the years has your focus your inspiration changed has it evolved or have you always kind of had the same core um, objectives my, my inspiration um, it changes all the time and this show is a totally new direction for me and I particularly wanted to uh, pay homage to my musical heroes and uh, and also there'll be live band that I'm playing in later some of my 
my acolytes from from the rock and roll uh, industry uh, you know friends people I, I, with little Barry's one of them and I, we've always I've known him for like I don't know 15 years and we always talk about we should do play together and this is the moment it's gonna happen um, as far as inspiration um, rock and roll I mean there's my art influences and then there's my rock and roll and this time I just tried to combine the two things I love most in life uh, for this show and then we'll see we'll, we'll see where that goes over the next couple of years well, I think it's worked very well in this show, so um, yeah, definitely on to a good thing there. Um, finally, just to close, I've got a few quick-fire questions for you. Um, if you were on death row, what would your last meal be? Depends what they serve in the kitchen. I mean, if I've had a choice, I mean... <laughs> oh, um, sushi. <laughs> good choice. Um, the film that you would recommend everyone to see? Oh, uh, one of my well, my favourite films is Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia. Um, I, I, I'm a big fan of many, too many movies to think of one favourite movie. You know, so many have affected me, like records or art, language. Uh, very hard, to, but that's that's pretty one of my favourite peck and Um Latex or silk, on you or on someone else? Um, silk, definitely. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, that's the end of our interview. Thank you, Will. Oh, thank and you. Um, yeah, have a great evening and have a wonderful 50th birthday as well. Yes. Happy birthday.